Across the Mercy by Jerry and the Pacemakers. This was from early 60s I believe and in this lesson I show you just a simple way of how to accompany yourself and to have, have at least the, the feel and kind of the, so the sound of the song there. Because there is of course a lot going on in the background which makes up a beautiful uh, song and actually our my colleague Neil has done a solo guitar arrangement on the song so if you're in interested in playing a chord solo or something and incorporate more of the sounds you're hearing then please check out what he has done with the song. I keep it uh, simple or at least for the ones who like to sing it like I uh, do and then I have actually chosen to go for the key of well for drop D tuning let's talk about the tuning first and then capo it here on the second fret which puts me in the absolute key of E in which the song is. Yes there are, are are chords out of the key whatever but basically it is in E. Now drop your bottom string to D so a whole step down and then actually because what he does is playing the notes that I just showed you uh, there he just plays it with those two fingers not worrying about the bass notes I mean the band is taking care of that so he keeps it really simple here just goes for those notes and of course at one point in the, the choruses and such he would start strumming kind of the way that I showed you already now let me point out what is happening here on the seventh fret capo to the I mean relative to the capo of course the seventh fret there this is actually an, uh, a D with an A shape from the A families and of course the bass notes belong in the chord and that's why drop D is so nice <laughs> because you don't have to worry for fretting the bass notes there. Then it actually, the little bar there on the 4th, 3rd and 2nd strings moves to the 5th fret including the top note there because that's actually the one that you can clearly hear him play along with an A in uh, in the bass for that I personally see it as an, an A minus 7 but others would say it's uh, a C chord oh well and you're going back and forth between those two and that's like the main sound throughout the song there in the intro outro the verses interludes and such the verses did I say that yes oh well so of course I will show you uh, how to do this at the very end of a verse he would throw in an A7 actually he does it as uh, a bar but I mean you already uh, are there you might as well just uh, add this note there and you got it and then this is a D chord uh, you don't have to fret the top string, just go for the five bottom strings then. You have a D chord there too. Of course you could go for this one, it is all good I suppose. There's an F sharp minor in there, or actually I played as an F sharp minor 7. So you need to fret the four top strings there. And because the bass note sounds, I mean the string sounds a whole step lower, your F sharp of course here ends up on the fourth fret. So along with your little finger on the fifth string, same fret there, and you have uh, you could bar everything or just the four, like so, or just the three top strings. Kill the fourth string though with your little finger, and you have an F sharp minor. 
I like to include the dominant 7 there. Same thing actually for E minor, the bass note now is on the 2nd fret there. This is an E minor 7, or if you don't want the dominant 7, just fret the 3 uh, bottom strings there. Index here in the middle, middle finger on the bottom, and my ring finger here on the 4th string. Like so. And then it moves to A7, like so. And we go back. And this is basically what it is. Yes, one more chord out of the key in D, which is an E7, so minor turns into major now. So, of course, just add here the, the third in the chord instead of the flatted third. Like so. This appears in uh, the bridge, by the way, and I think we have already take a look, taken a look at all the chords. As for the strumming, Reminds me of Tequila Sunrise, this bounce. He does a little bit of both. He, for example, also does in the, in particular in the courses, I think, one and then two and three and four and one and then two and three and four and so staying in double time. Bridge. One and then two and three and four and one and then two and three and four. So changing from double time to uh, single time uh, back and forth. This is really nice if you are able to to do that in one single song. And I do elaborately go into it in this lesson. Show you, of course, this little bit in close up. Well, everything you need to know. Go through the progression, which is actually. Once you got both hands down, fairly straightforward. So this should be, um, if you got it down, <laughs> should be a quick one. Anyway, so I hope you uh, are tempted to learn it because it is a great song. And if you can sing it, then you might as well, you know, have uh, a nice accompaniment uh, there. And then, uh, yes, you got something uh, great in your repertoire. Check it out at totallyguitars.com. In there, it is uploaded now and you can uh, purchase it there.